Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys my October favorites with you guys. So it's going to be a mix of everything, fashion, home decor, some makeup, some hair stuff. So everything's going to be in this video. If you like the wig that I have on, this is Sensational's Zelina in Flamboyage Auburn, I believe. I featured her in a, I featured her in a get ready with me video where I did my hair, a little bit of makeup and my press on nails. So if you haven't watched that video yet, go ahead and watch it. Some categories have more stuff than others. Home has the most stuff because in September and October, my focus was definitely on decorating and stuff like that. So, okay, let's go with the first category with the least things, my nails. So I have been in love with the Empress nails, press on nails, specifically in the short length. And if you've watched my channel for a long time, I am a long nails girl usually, but I don't like, let me turn this fan on. I don't really care for long nails now, especially now that I'm doing them, doing more stuff around the house and everything. So I love short nails. Um, earlier this year when I first tried the short length, they were too short for my nail beds, but I cut my nails down and they are perfect. I have them on right now. I have the cherry up ones on and I think they're just so perfect for fall. Oh, they look so good. And like, I really got my nails done. So in the video where I did my get ready with me and did my press on nails and stuff, I initially had on these handmade, hand painted press on nails from a company I found on Etsy. So handmade press on nails are more expensive. The hand painted press on nails, I still choose the Empress ones over them. Um, first of all, the look of them, they look so natural. Like I really got gel polish, um, a gel polish manicure, but they also have this sticky stuff inside of them. And the sticky stuff by themselves doesn't give a strong hold, but I do what already comes inside the nail, which is the sticky stuff, sticky adhesive plus glue. And it has such a strong hold. Like these aren't going anywhere. And because I got a shorter length, they really do last a lot longer than any other length um, because they, you know, can't get caught on stuff like longer nails will. So they do last longer and they just look good and they're affordable. Tens across the board for me and I've tried several colors. So I'm going to insert some pictures of some of the ones that I love. So right now I have on Cherry Up, which is a beautiful fall burgundy color. Oh my God, they they just look so sophisticated and cute. So I have that color. I love taupe prize, which is, you know, a taupe color. So it's like a brownish gray color. And I've been wanting to try that particular polish, but I never got around to it. So I just did it with my press on nails, love them. Pick me pink. I am a huge fan of pink in general, regardless of the time of year. Love those. And I just wore, last week I wore the bare butt better which is like, um, just like nudes and they look so pretty. Like, uh, I'm, and I only wear my press on nails for a week and I feel like it's cost effective because they're usually, if you pick them up on Amazon, they're going to be a little bit higher than they would at Walmart and drugstores. They're like maybe like eight, seven, eight dollars at Walmart online. They're a little bit more expensive. So love those, highly recommend them, especially if you are, somebody who likes short nails, but they do have medium. So now we're in the makeup category. I don't have a lot of stuff in the makeup category, but I have more than I did in my nails category. So first up, I want to mention the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I just think it looks really good. That's what I have on today. I recently, I was gonna put my Sephora Best Skin Foundation on here, but it didn't look good on my skin yesterday. I feel like it didn't look good on my skin yesterday, so I can't put it on my favorites list. But this, I talk about this in every makeup video I put up, really. I really have. If you watch my makeup content, you already know I do. Um, I'm using the shade Hunwahan. In like the summertime, I would be Tahoe, but right now I am Hunwahan. I just love how nat the finish looks natural. It's not too matte to where you just look kind of like too dry and I already have dry skin. I've, and this, I've, I've heard people with oily skin say they like this foundation too. So I feel like it's a good kind of universal foundation, but definitely for dry skin, I just feel like my skin looks good. Okay, so I've had this makeup on for a while. 
um, probably like three hours so far and I'm gonna do like a marathon of recording videos. So I definitely wanted to reach for a foundation that I love and that's tried and true. Okay, and the last thing I wanna mention in the makeup category are my lashes. It's not, it, they aren't the lashes that I have on. It's actually the INV um, light 3D collection lashes in the style 75. And I'll put some pictures of me wearing those lashes. I have on IME lashes right now, but these are in the style Natural Volume 3D 80. These give the same vibe. Like for me, I am very specific with my lashes and I really am like, I don't like all lashes. Um, I don't like my bands to be too thin. Actually, I actually prefer more like stiffer bands on my lashes. So these aren't super stiff, but they aren't the flimsy kind that you get with certain brands so i like my lashes to be longer but not too long to where they're like hitting up here i don't think that looks good on me and i like to have like a little bit of wispiness they need to have some presence because if i, I do like my lashes to be a little bit longer but not too long because if i want like super natural lashes i'll just wear my own lashes my natural lashes because i have pretty long lashes especially if i add some mascara with it so um i like my lashes to have look natural well you know these aren't like my lashes but they are not like 25 millimeter lashes that look kind of crazy they look crazy on me so this is a nice happy medium volume presence but not like too much and walmart that's where i've been getting a lot of my lashes and then of course amazon sell the imv brand on amazon um but i've gotten mine at walmart and the beauty supply store too yeah, so that was everything in my makeup category. So let's move on to hair and wigs, okay? So I really did like the Kalai Hair Kinky Straight Wig. Um, it didn't come out the box looking like, you know, what I have right here. But um, I put my work into it and it looked very pretty. And I styled it very pretty too with that, with that half up, half down style. So pretty, and I just love kinky straight textures in general. Which also leads me to a synthetic wig that I love this month. First of all, I reviewed her la last year, this time last year in October, well, it's November now, but October I reviewed um, Outre Katia in 2021, and I fell in love. That was like one of my most popular videos last year. And I still love Katia. I'm serious, a lot of the human hair kinky straight wigs don't even hold a candle to Katia and Katia is a like $50, $60 synthetic wig, but it looks so good and so natural. And I did wear it out. Um, and that's the true test of if a wig looks really natural, if you can wear it out and feel comfortable. And I wore her to a birthday brunch for one of my friends and Katia was giving. Now does she tangle? Absolutely. So that's a trade off with, you know, synthetic wigs versus human hair wigs. It did, it did start to tangle. And I did, you know, I used my Simply Styling silicone spray to, you know, get those ends together. And I keep this with all of my synthetic wigs ever since um, Gladys put me onto it because these these wigs be tangling a lot. That's just in the nature of synthetic wigs. I had to do that with this one today, and it's brand new. So love Katia. She did come with that faux scalp because this one came because Katia came out at the top of. 2021 when um Utre was still doing that faux scalp thing and, oh I'm gonna go ahead and put her on here I can't believe I forgot to put her on here I think I reviewed this in October I did um Utre Marissa oh my god I can't believe I forgot to put her on here and what color did I have um it was like drf2 slash vanilla chocolate I can't believe I didn't put this on here but it, she deserves to be on here and that was um a popular video on my channel last month the texture was giving Katya, it has a nice uh, yakky texture and the color is amazing. Outre only has like two wigs in that color and we need that color on every Outre release because it is stunning. It is the perfect blonde for me. Like I told you guys, I hate blonde wigs. I hate them on me, but that particular blonde is everything. It's like a cool tone blonde, which is gonna be perfect for fall, winter, because it's not like too yellow or, you know, brassy or anything like that. It is stunning. Um, if it's still available, you guys should certainly purchase it. I did sleep in that wig, and I'm gonna insert like some footage of me um, over the course of like three days after I reviewed that wig, I did sleep in it. Something I don't do. I don't sleep in my synthetic wigs because I don't like the feeling of having something on my head. 
and a lot of times synthetic wicks can get really tangled when you sleep in them so what i did was i would put my melt band on over the lace and then i would put all the hair in a bonnet and then sleep with it like that then the next morning it was still preserved the lace was still flat i might have a little bit of lifting on like by the ear area but then i would just glue those specific areas down so outre marissa was really good you guys know at the end of each year i do a year in wrap up for my favorite wigs outre marissa she is on there okay you don't even have to guess she's gonna be on there she is one of the best wigs I tried this year. Spoiler alert, you know? She's one of the best wigs of 2022 for me. Um, and I certainly hope Outre does make more wigs in that color. So, next up we have the fashion category. I'm gonna start doing more fashion content in general. I really have a lot on my Instagram and my TikTok, but I don't do it as much on my YouTube channel because it's I usually have to do like a long drawn out video with several outfits but on there i just do like outfits of the day and keep it pushing and i had my camo pants with a tank top and vans video went viral on my tick on my instagram and it has like over 300,000 views and that's really big for me because it's really hard to grow on instagram i really just like gave up and just was just you know going through the motions because that's just what you know I was just like, I still need the Instagram platform, but I wasn't trying to grow like that. But I just was being consistent and I posted that and people love that video. So I got a lot of new followers just from that video. So with the camo pants, they're so cute. I got mine in a 1X and I did wash them and they did shrink a bit. So um, I they do run big. So keep that in mind. So if you're usually like a 2X, you might want to go in a 1X. Just go down one because it's they do... Uh, run big but that's how you know the look of cargo pants you don't want them to be too tight I do think I'm going to go back and try a different um, color that they offer because they do have a lot of different colors um, and I wore it with this tank top bodysuit um, and it came in like a, a beautiful kind of rust color you guys know I love rust and I think I got it in a 2x for the bodysuit that's typically what I wear with my bodysuits and they're both from Amazon and they just look good together. I wore that to my brother's birthday celebration. Super cute and a lot of you guys went and bought that. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably did. But I did post that video on, I posted that on my YouTube shorts as well. So if you're interested in the tank top and the camo pants, they'll be listed in the description box. Or you can follow me on, Amazon, on my Amazon storefront, it's there. Or you can follow me on my Like to Know It page because I post a lot of outfits and stuff over there. All of these platforms and stuff will be linked in my description box, so follow me on those platforms. And also, I wanted to mention the Amazon sweater dress set. So I have it in black, um, and I wore the black one to a friend's birthday brunch with Utre Katia, and it was just a beautiful look. I love black. Like, my closet is mainly black and pink. So I'm on the opposite, like I love the extremes there, pink and black. So I wore that with some Nike waffle, Nike waffle ones um, that were kind of a mustard color and I paired it with a mustard coach bag that I got this summer when I went on that trip with Wheezy and still looking good. And that was just a cute outfit because I like very comfortable outfits, but very cute. Like both of them together, that is where I live right there. Um, I really enjoy sneakers and comfortable shoes. But this year I have really grown and evolved and I really understand my style. I don't like fussy stuff, but I also like things that are really cute. I have I have wore it in black and then me and Adrian, the following week we went on a date, um, a day date at that same restaurant and I wore it in pink and the pink was super cute too. But of course the black to me was just, it gave way more because I just love black so, so much. But the pink was really cute too so if you want a very it has kind of like a preppy look to it but depending on how you style it it'll go with your different aesthetic so if you want something more grungy pair it with like some combat boots and a biker jacket like i did i did it with i did like a moto jacket with it um but if you want it to be more sweet and girly and feminine you can wear like ballet flats or heels or something like that and change the vibe of it with your accessories so those are very versatile pieces right there um, and somebody told me, so each piece is about $54. Um, some people said that was expensive, but I didn't think it was that bad on Amazon. 
body said that Walmart carries um, sets that are that's a cardigan and a skirt and I bought those after they told me that and the ones from Walmart are $24 versus the 50 so I'm gonna try that on in a different video to see if it holds up to the one from Amazon so Keep a lookout for more fashion content for me because I see that you guys enjoy that kind of content. Oh my gosh, this video is going to be long, but um, <laughs> shout out to the Premiere Squad for watching this whole video with me because I know it's going to be long. And shout out to anybody who is catching this replay. Give this video a thumbs up. So in the home category, this is going to be the longest category because that's where my heart is. It's like I love home decor and decorating now. Like that's what I watch. I really don't even watch a lot of wig reviews um, as much as I used to. I watch a lot of home stuff. So um, this black blanket that I got from Amazon. Most of the stuff is going to be from Amazon. Yeah, the home stuff. It is so comfortable. I have bought a lot of itchy blankets that are just for show, but you can't take a nap under it because you're going to be itchy. It's really big. I think I got a, a 60 by 80 or a 50 by 60, something like that. I'll have it, you know, in the description box. Super comfortable. I've taken multiple naps in it and we have a lot of black accents in our house. So it works with a lot of our decor. My mama bought that blanket from my Amazon storefront as well. So shout out to her. So you guys know if you watched my um fall decorate with me videos that we have a coffee bar now in our kitchen and the wood floating shelves that we used are from amazon and i just love how everything turned out with you know decorating um the kitchen and the living room and stuff so we used two wood floating shelves from amazon and then we got these like L brackets to go underneath so nothing would like fall like in the middle of the night or anything. And we got somebody to install them and that was the basis for our coffee bar and it looks so freaking good. Oh my gosh. So glad that we decided to go with a coffee bar in that empty space in our kitchen. And so for Christmas, I'm gonna try to redecorate it for uh, Christmas obviously and do kind of like a hot cocoa situation there. I also, I got this idea from Aaliyah's face um, it's a disinfectant wipe holder. Disinfectant wipes holder. So I was like, why do you need that? But it's just like an aesthetic thing. So when we get Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes, we put it inside this, this holder here and it's black. It just looks chic on your countertops. So, you know, if you're into aesthetics, then maybe pick that up. But it looks really cute in the kitchen and you don't see like, you know, the... Clorox logo or whatever so it's not necessary but it's really really you know nice to have okay I love this so much the condiment holders so I made a reel I made a reel with pretty much everything I'm showing on here uh condiment holders it's like a set of three glass condiment holders and it has a wood top and a wood spoon and it has a wood tray to put all three of them in so we put different seasonings in all three of them um, and we keep them by the stove so when we cook in when we are cooking we can put some of those seasonings on our food it just looks so good oh my god especially if you have like a wood wood accents in your home decor it'll it'll really work with your space especially in the kitchen the coffee syrups dispenser the coffee syrups dispensers they're so popular on TikTok and Instagram I had to finally break down and get them and they come with the labels like it comes with the labels you'll have to buy them separately and they're easy to apply now some of mine are a little bit crooked or too high or too low but it's like you don't really you really can't tell we have those on one of the shelves for the coffee bar and it's just perfect it's so perfect i think they have other finishes we have the one that's glass and gold but i think they have black as well i think so or silver so you just have to check the listing but we love that and we use the Torani syrups um, in different flavors. And you can, you know, get the different coffee syrups for different times of year. We didn't get a pumpkin one for fall, um, but we might get one. We might get like peppermint for Christmas. And it comes with the labels as well. I love that companies are starting to do, to provide the labels so you don't have to order them separately. Um, and they have so many different categories. So you don't have to put just coffee um coffee syrups in your containers you can you can do olive oil and so much so many other things they have a lot of labels um the cookbook display charcuterie well it's called it's a 
it's a charcuterie cookbook display so it's the shape of a charcuterie board but on the back it has like a kickstand so you can display some of your recipe books or your cookbooks and I just thought that was just so different and perfect because I'm going to have that for, you know, all different times of year. I can just swap out the kind of cookbook to reflect the seasons. So I have just like a general cookbook right now. It's very modern. It's called Eat With Us. That's what I have on there now. But for Christmas, I think I'm going to swap it out for like a Christmas cookie um, recipe book cookbook so it reflects the season and that's like it's practical and functional because you can use those cookbooks you know while you're you know baking and stuff but it's also like for decor because the cookbooks have really nice art on the front so that's a part of your decor it's kind of like wall art love that and if you watch my uh, fall decorate with me videos you guys know I love the velvet pillow covers that I got from Amazon this year and I'm gonna order them again for my Christmas decor so I got the rust color um, and I got it from two different listings but it was the same exact pillow covers they are so gorgeous and high quality and they look so high-end I got some last year from a different listing and they were terrible they look like super cheap but these look very luxe and they are I think all of them are under $20. So um, this year, I think I'm going to order emerald green to pop on the accent chairs. And I'm going to have emerald green on the other two couches as well. Highly recommend those pillow covers, especially if you want velvet pillow covers that don't look cheap. They look really good. Wood riser or wood pedestal that I got um, from Amazon. It's a mini one. It's so cute. I used it on our sideboard right beside our dining table and I put a pumpkin on top of it I think I might use that again uh, for Christmas decor and just swap out the pumpkin for something more you know seasonal for Christmas very nice to have I'm considering getting another one so I could have like different heights for things around the house but that was a great buy and it's real wood so you got to be careful um like raw wood so you don't like get a splinter and this has this is a YouTube equipment kind of thing and I mentioned this in my get ready with me video but I want to mention it here if you are a content creator um, last year I bought a all-in-one content creator kit or is it a content creator tool so it's kind of like a box but you open it up and it turns into like a tripod so that is how I film my TikToks and uh, reels and stuff I have my phone on that propped up and I just film hands-free but you can also film overhead content with it because it has like a gooseneck and so you can do nail videos you can do some cooking videos if you want to you can do some planner content you can draw so I feel like I've gotten my money's worth out of this I ordered mine from a place called Hey Paparazzo I think that's how you pronounce it but they have them on Amazon and I'll leave my Amazon link below because it's actually cheaper on Amazon and I feel like it's the same exact thing. So these cookies from Pillsbury. Okay, so I was trying to do a lot of fall stuff in October. I didn't try. I did a lot of fall stuff in October. And one of them was try like different fall treats. And I tried the Pillsbury pumpkin cream cookie dough. And we made those and they were so good. I was so surprised because we weren't really... I was just baking cookies because you know cookies are good but these were very good they did not last in our house between me and Adrian um so good I have to go find them before they you know go out of season and they only have Christmas stuff but those were really 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 good so that was everything I wanted to share with you guys I hope you enjoyed my October favorites video share with me some of your favorites in the comment section thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and interacting with me be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and turn on your notifications so you'll know every time that I upload uh, follow me on Instagram and TikTok at I fancy cupcakes and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys